Dave, just first off, you guys are facing the Tigers today. It's been a minute since not only since they've been here at Dodger Stadium, but since you guys have played them. What is it? What are the challenges of facing a team that you haven't seen in a while? I, I think that the challenge uh, is the unfamiliarity. Um, you know, you look at the guys that we're going to be seeing this weekend, guys in the pen, we just don't know a whole lot about them. Um, certainly the position players, I think Baez probably we we're most familiar with, but a lot of those guys we just don't know. So I think uh, it's just going out there and focusing on playing good baseball. I saw Gavin Lux this afternoon. He was doing some defensive drills. How are you seeing him continue to just, I guess, kind of better himself in that position, sorry. Yeah, I, I think with, with Gavin, um, I think with, with anyone, it's it just continuing to uh, work on getting better fundamentally. And I think with him specifically, it's just continuing to work on his feet. Um, I think sometimes, you know, when people get your feet quite aren't quite right, uh, it, it kind of makes it hard to be accurate with your throws. And so, but Gavin's worked real hard and, and to be a much better defender. Dave, with the uh, Bauer suspension coming down, 324 games, you'd play almost a half of the season without him anyways. Does this put some closure on this thing for you as a manager with the squad? Um, you know, for us, we're just, we've kind of had a bent of the mind of just focusing on the guys here and the teams that we're playing. So it really doesn't change our, our mindset at all as far as guys in the clubhouse. Were you shocked at the 324 games? I got no comment on that. You know, um, right now that's out of uh, all of our hands. And um, I know we put out a statement, the Dodgers did. Um, I stand behind that. But as far as commenting on that, I just can't comment. Is there a bit of relief for you in just like having a you know an answer to this now? Um, a resolution? You know, I, I, I still, until it's, which I don't think it is, everything is finalized. I, um, right now, I just don't want to comment. I don't think it's uh, smart for me to make any comments. All I know is that uh, our guys have done a great job of uh, focusing on the job at hand and the guys in the room. So that's kind of where our heads are. Hey, did you is this something that you address the team about? No, no, um, no. Uh, the only thing I've talked to the team about is the Detroit Tigers. That's about it. So there's nothing you, extra you feel like you have to do, especially when another story comes out like today or anything like that? Or? No, um, honestly, is I, I think that I'm certain everyone read the statement from the Dodgers that we put out. Um, and I, I just feel that our guys understand you know, let the process take place, and outside of that, we just got to play baseball, and that's just kind of the only course of action we can take. With Tyler Anderson on the mound today. What is, what's different about him this year that you're seeing that you like? Um, well, I, I just like the way he prepares, uh, he competes. Um, he executes pitches, and uh, he's like a position player that's a pitcher. And uh, he, he's tough as nails, and um, certainly with what's going on with our ball club with the pitching, I'm happy uh, we signed him. Tommy Kenley is here, got his playing catch out there. The timeline, you think still we can see him activated in the Giants series? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's going to get one more outing in on Sunday, <coughs> and then uh, we'll have him active on Tuesday. You've mentioned that Detroit is new. Wait, is there anything in particular you'd look for them? They're all, they are new to you, but is there anything in particular you might look for? Them? You know, um, they pretty much play the game straight up. You know, there's not kind of, uh, you know, I know AJ and, and how he manages and tendency, so it's not like a lot of small ball. It's kind of understanding the personnel. Um, they, they pitch really well, and so, uh, you know, just trying to take good at bats and, and play good baseball, and I think if we do that, we'll be fine. But I'm really curious to learn these guys a little bit more. How's Preston? Yeah, David, uh, I think it's day five right now, I think, something like that. So I hear he's getting better symptomatically. Um, so hopefully he'll be back at some point in time soon. I don't know though when. What about with uh, Blake or Andrew? Uh, Blake uh, is on paternity. So uh, he's with his family. Um, and uh, he hasn't picked up a baseball yet, nor has Andrew. Um, I don't know when they're, uh, the next time they're going to pick a ball and when they're going to be back with us. I don't know that answer. 
sounds like it wasn't going to be a 10 day minimum then with either guy. You know what? Unfortunately, no. I think early on we were hopeful that uh, both guys would be more shorter than longer, but as it's turned out, um, both are on the uh, the longer side of things. Have any of either of them gotten scans subsequent to the original diagnosis? Um, I think that uh, it just confirmed what we thought, yes, to your question, and it was more shoulder inflammation on, um, on, on Andrew and on Blake. I know shoulder, I don't know the exact diagnosis on Blake, I know, but I do know they got scans. MRI? Yes. Alex Vestia, you guys have really kind of gone to him quite a bit here. What are you seeing in him just with his presence on the mound and how what's allowing him to be so effective this year? Uh, Alex, he's throwing strikes. He is uh, using his slider and he's using his changeup, and um, he's getting ahead. I think that when he can get ahead of hitters, then he's uh, he's pretty lethal. So he's pitched really well for us.